Slack demo for project management and business communication. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with Slack. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is head on over to slack.com. If you already have an account, you can simply log on to that. If you don't have an account, you can log in with your email address. I already have an account, so I'm just going to continue on with that account. If you don't have a account already, you can simply go on and click on sign up and I will just click on over here and this will be your home screen. From here you can enter the email address that you want to use or continue with google or apple i'm just going to continue on with my pre-existing account over here and now you have two different options so if you previously created any workspaces you can continue with those or we're going to get started with a new workspace for business or project management so we're just going to click on create a workspace over here and once you click on create a workspace it will ask you what you want to name your workspace so let's say that i want to create a workspace for my business communication for a company that i'm creating so let's say I created a company that is regarding water bottles and I can begin by adding my associates or people that I'm working with. You can also directly add from your Google contacts, which is another amazing feature that helps you integrate Slack into your day-to-day -day business. So you can also get a copy invite link. So if you just send that link to any person, that person can join this specific workspace. Now I'm going to continue on ahead and you can enter what your team is currently working on. So this will create like the first few channels on Slack slack and now i'm just going to click on next over here and that is it so this is how i've set up my slack now there are a few different things that you need to do to begin you know accurately or correctly being able to do your business communication or do your project management which is first off whenever you create a um, slack workspace like we did over here first off you have settings and administration so you can go into your workspace settings and you have multiple different channels so you can keep the general channel as it is the random one then you have finance so once you have created multiple different channels let's say i need another channel specifically for ideas and you can also add a description and now you have two options you can create a channel to be private and the thing with creating a private channel is that you can only make that specific channel available to the people that are invited within that and instead of people from the entire workspace being able to text in that or uh, being able to look at that channel it can be private so let's say you want a channel where only managers can communicate so you can create something like that and make that private so you're able to effectively communicate with the rest of your team as well now with each channel you also have uh, other administration settings so if we go into the workspace settings over here you have specific settings for specific items now you can choose a specific permission so you can click on permissions and you can click on expand now you can do certain things like maybe only workspace owners and admins can like this so you can see over here uh people who can use the add everyone to notify everyone so only owners and admins could do that instead of all of members being able to uh people who can use the ad channel and add here uh, everyone except guests and first time each day everyone can use the ad channel at everyone uh ad sign so because these kinds of notifications these kinds of at notifications pop up for everyone and maybe you don't want that maybe you don't want everyone from your team to be able to give notifications to your boss or to you know whoever is the head so you can manage permissions by that you also have channel management so you can click on expand over here and let's say that only workspace owners can create private channels and people who can create public channels workspace owners people who can archive channels workspace owners who can remove members from private channels the owner only who can uh, remove members from public channel owner only and who can manage posting permissions and admins and owners so i'm going to save these new settings and now uh, instead of all of my team being able to remove each other or add each other uh, only i can do that as the workspace owner now you also have other features such as message editing and deletion so if people can edit or delete their messages you can also enter more settings and authentications as well you also have attachment options so you can block previews for links you can uh, allow certain people to not send links as well and you also have basic uh, display name guidelines and uh, email display guidelines if you want these specific items to be displayed or not now if i go back into slack over here let's say i have my basic team over here i have direct messaging as well then if we go into our finance section so what you can do is you can integrate 
bots into your specific channel as well so if we click on the finance section over here you can see it currently has uh, just a channel name a description files members integration so what you can do is add an app so if you click on add an app over here you can see that maybe i'm using google drive to store some of my financial information for my business or i am using you know another platform maybe i'm using asana for project management maybe i'm using hubspot so whatever integrations that you might need you can easily find them over here so let's say maybe i'm using clickup so i have the clickup uh integration over here and i can integrate that and what that enables me to do is i can monitor my progress on that specific place over here as well so this will enable you to have a more seamless experience on your specific slack channels and if you go into the settings of a channel you can change it to a private channel as well and you can start and join huddles so huddles are like audio calls where you can have a meeting or a call with your business as well and this is specifically only available for the paid versions of slack now slack is a platform that i think is amazing for business communication but uh, i don't think it's really necessary for you to be able to communicate effectively with your teammates uh, without you know having to upgrade to premium you don't really need premium on slack and i find that it still does its work very nicely now if you go into your workflow builder you can click on that on slack as well into the settings and you can click on got it now after that you can set up a few different basic templates so you can give a, a welcome to your teammates a quick way to send info with the emoji reaction a status update for the team so you can click on setup over here and, uh, you know, uh, use these specific integrations to, uh, you know, create your own workflows. You can also create simple workflows on the premium version of Slack as well. Now, Slack also has a desktop application and you also have multiple different functions. So if you do slash, you can get a shortcut. And depending on the type of bots that you have enabled, there are multiple different bots available. Uh, you can go on ahead and get, you know, more bots and archive maybe the current information feed help you also have collapse you can expand the files you can get multiple different shortcuts in slack as well now after that you also have basic teammates so I'm just going to send an invite to myself just to show you guys now just like that I've sent the invite and uh, currently I haven't accepted it but it's still showing my name so whenever you create a new invite people can easily see it uh, without having to you know, uh, go through the new members list. Now, after that, you can also click on browse Slack and see any of your mentions. If anyone has mentioned you, if anyone has direct messaged you, any drafts and sent messages that you have done, and then all of your uh, sections where you can manage files, people, apps, and other items that are related to you, even if you are not the owner of the workspace. Now, so if you click on your preferences, you can set up your notifications, your themes. You can also convert Slack to the dark mode as well. A lot of people do prefer that you have multiple different color options that you can choose as well there are a bunch of different options this is the standard one and then you can move on ahead and choose a different one you also have Marcus red option so start me where i left off or prompt to confirm you can start yourself at the newest message or maybe wherever you left off then you also have privacy options on slack where you can contact sharing so uh, you can choose whether or not you want to share your contact info with the guests in the workspace so a lot of people might not want to do that and you can uh, do no one for that as well then you also have advanced settings which enables you to create shortcuts in your workplace so you can effectively communicate with your team i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video